Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we are going to graph nonlinear systems. We're going to have a quadratic and a line. So we're going to have a parabola and a line and we're going to actually solve a system. Now remember solving a system is when two lines cross, a system of equations of a line, when two lines cross at a point where those two lines cross. Same idea with a parabola and a line. You're going to draw a parabola and then draw a line and then see where they cross. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So let's start off by graphing our parabola. Okay, we have a parabola that's facing up because our lead coefficient is one, and we're gonna find the vertex using negative b over two a. Well, our b in this case is zero, so zero over two times one, which is the lead coefficient a, is zero. So when x is zero, what is my output? My output is negative two, so zero, negative two is my vertex. So let's plot that, zero, negative two. Now I know the pattern of my quadratic is to go up one and over one, up one over one because it's sym symmetrical, and then up three, one, two, three, and over one, up one, two, three, and over one. This is the pattern when my lead coefficient is one, and then up five, one, two, three, four, four, three, four, five, and over one, and five, and over one. Okay, so there is my parabola. Now I just need to graph my line. Okay, in this case I have y equals 5x minus 8. Okay, I'm going to write that over here just to, so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, my y-intercept or b is negative 8, so I'm going to go down here and plot negative 8 on the y-axis. And then my slope is 5, and I always count my rise over my run, so I'm going to go up 5 and over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1. Do that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1, and look, I've hit the parabola. Let's try it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1. I've hit the parabola a second time up here. This one's a little bit off my graph, but you can see it. So there we go. Okay, so what? where did the line and the parabola cross? They cross at this point, and they cross at this point. So let's get those ordered pairs. This one's at, from 0, 0, I go over 1, 2, up 2. So this point is 2, comma 2, and then this one is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 7. So the point up here is... 3, 7. It's kind of hard to fit it all in on that graph, but you can kind of see it. So what? Oh, what's my solution? Well, the solution is those two points. So 2, comma 2 is one of my intersection points, and 3, comma 7 is my other intersection point, and that's how you solve it by graphing. So there you go. You get an example of how to solve a quadratic and the linear system by graphing.